<clears throat> there we go. Okay, so we need to point the camera down just a little bit. I could lower the two front legs. Okay, do you want to try that? Or I could. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's good. My head's still in there. All right. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy New Year. Hope everybody is having a great, great day. Happy Sunday. My name is Lise. I am Lise on Life. I bring you guys Veggie Centric, where I help you get vegetables on your table at every meal. So today I've got my handy dandy helper. This is my son Tanner. He's going to have to duck down. <laughs> Hi guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks everybody for joining. Again, I'm Lise. This is my son Tanner. I'm going to make him stay down on his knees while we do all this. <laughs> Look, I can't see anybody coming on. Yeah, I don't I know what that is. I, I, there's definitely people. We've got peeps. All right, peeps. Well, we've got you. We're here. We're going to get it done. So again, my name is Lise. I'm Lisa on Life. I'm a wife, a mom, oh, a paralegal. There we go. People. Hey, Kim. Okay, so there's a delay. Hi, guys. A paralegal, and I am the queen of my kitchen. And I like to bring you guys my show called Veggie Centric where I help you guys get vegetables on your table at every meal. And many of you guys know I did a challenge with my running coach, Amanda, Hi, Jenny. Nice to see you. Where are you from, Jenny? Um, yeah, everybody, go ahead, check in. Give me your name. Tanner can also read your guys' names sometimes when I'm looking down while I'm cooking. I'm not seeing things, so don't think that I'm ignoring you. We may need you to, you know, post it again. But okay, come on, everybody, come on in. Let's get cooking, right? So, as I was saying, my running coach had us do this challenge over the holidays to eat seven to nine. Happy New Year to you, Kim. Seven to nine fruits and veggies a day, and I thought to myself, that is insane. There is no way. This lady's crazy, but she's not so crazy. There's just different little tricks and tips that we need to do in order to make that happen. So today, we are doing... January Scopers in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Howdy, thanks for joining. So we're gonna do some buffalo cauliflower bites. I'm so super excited about this, you guys, especially January, right? Ah, giving me hot love. January is a big month for football, right? And you're going to all these football parties and there's tons of like hot wings and every bad dip out there. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do something that you can take to um, any of these parties. They're buffalo um, cauliflower bites and you're just going to be blown away. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get my handy dandy partner to help me out here. Okay. <laughs> so Tanner's like, like not in the screen. Okay. Can you just, should I have you sit down? Do you want to sit on a, I'm on a, on a stool. stool? Okay. We're going to, we're going to adjust things a little bit just so that we can get his cute little face in the picture. Thanks for the hearts. So how is everybody's new year going? How's everybody doing? Are you guys doing okay? I know we're just a few days in, but I'm super excited about it. I feel like every year is like a nice fresh start. We can start clean, start all over again. The holidays were a little rough for me. Um, speaking of my January scopers, I'm in this group that does uh, monthly scoping and every day they have a different um, topic that you have to talk about and we're gonna do that in a little bit. Um, but I really failed miserably at the December scopers. I fresh start. Yes. Right. Fresh start, baby. Um, cause I totally failed at that. I just, sometimes some things have to go. You were really busy with Christmas. I was crazy busy. It was crazy busy, but I feel good now. You know what? It was so much fun. Good times are had family and fun. Um, and I'm ready to take on the new year. So the first thing we're going to do, my handy dandy assistant, is I'm going to have you put in, this is a half a cup of all-purpose flour, okay? And you guys can use any kind of flour that you want. I know I've got a lot of people that don't do, yep, go for it. You know, you don't want to do gluten or you want to, you know, use different types of flour. That's totally fine for this recipe. You can definitely change this to your um, eating habits. Okay, so we have another right here is our half a cup of water. Woo, go, Vanna. <laughs> okay, we're going to mix this in. So, of course, 
you know what? For me, it has to be the Frank's Red Hot. And look at, like, I've used this so much, I don't even have the label on it anymore. But Frank's, there's something about Frank's that is just that classic, you know, oh my God, we've got like 20 people on. Hi, guys. I know I've got some people that, you know, maybe you're on your computer and stuff and you can't say hello. But if you can, give a little heart love. And if you'd like, go ahead and put your name in there so that we know where you're from. I also, you guys, I will check. Um, these all save to catch.me, all my videos. And I do check them to see who's, um, who's on and who's following. I really do appreciate it. I love this. Um, so we're just going to do a dash of the Frank's Red Hot, okay? Now, how do you measure a dash? That's a good question. It's how I feel. <laughs> However much you want. That's how I want. There we go. That's a dash. That's how much you want. Okay. <laughs> Look at I got Mr. Smart Alec here. Okay, you get to stir that. We're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic salt. Okay, so I just have them in my little container. Look how cute those are. My husband and son bought those for me. For my scopes, like specifically, I have all these cute little containers. <coughs> all right, so we're going to drop that in. Okay, the next one is... She measures almost everything by feel. Do you? Awesome. Intuition. You just got to feel it, right? You know. I think you do. Okay, so this is my onion powder. Okay. <clears throat> I have one teaspoon of cumin. I love cumin. Oh my God, that is such an amazing flavor. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Now what exactly is cumin? Um, that's a great question. Does anybody know where the cumin comes from? Like what plant that comes from? Because I don't know. Um, I just use it and love it. So now I've got some paprika. We're going to put that in. We've got one teaspoon of paprika. And we're going to put in a teaspoon of salt and actually, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon. Wow, that would have been a lot of salt, huh? Quarter teaspoon of salt. We're just going to get a little bit in there. Always remember with your salt and pepper, start slowly you can never take it back out you can always add in when you need to okay and so we're going to do a little bit of our pepper okay oh my god i can smell can you smell the franks smell and the cumin and the yummy goodness and the everything and the <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's going to be thick okay and that's what we want now i'm going to get um this platter over here or this cooking sheet because that's what we're going to put it on. Can you guys see that? Okay. It's a flowering plant. We use the seeds. Awesome. Thank you so much for your help. I that's love that. Funny. I love when there's people here who knew, know more than me because I'm always willing to learn. You should always be willing to learn. All right. So we've got this all mixed up and we're just going to take that and I've got a little bit of some panko breadcrumbs and we're going to take, so you take one of these guys and you're just gonna dip his little head in there, okay? And then you're gonna dip him a little bit in the panko, Aww. just to give him a little bit of crunch, okay? Mm -hmm. Woo, thanks for the hearts, you guys. And then you just lay him down there. That's pretty cool. All right, okay. so let's okay. do this together. Let's, let's get our let's get our let's see. Flower on. Let's get our collie on. We're getting our collie on. Okay, so while we do this, I'm going to discuss for my January scopers. Um, Let's see, let me get exactly my right wording, is biggest lesson in 2015. Biggest lesson. And I got to tell you, I learned this biggest lesson in December uh, when I was taking on way too much stuff. I want to do all the stuff and all the things, and it's like, you know what, there's only so many hours in the day, people. And I honestly started to get myself so stressed out. And I wasn't sleeping and it just became, it wasn't fun. I lost the fun and I don't want to do that. I, in my life, I want to have fun. I want, I think everything should be fun. You should be laughing and, and hugging and happy. Look at all the heart love. I love it. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, so that was really a big lesson for me. And let me tell you, wasn't it that, like I, at first when I thought about this, I thought, I need to say no more often, but that's not really what it was. It's really that there's so many things that I want to do and so many things that I enjoy that I took them all on at the same time and I thought I was going to lose my mind. Um, so I think you have to realize your limits and, and pick a few of those favorite things and then do them well, as opposed to spreading yourself thin um, and overdoing and overcompensating and then just burning yourself out because I really did burned myself out in December. I had to pull back on everything. 
I just like almost shut down. I was like, you know what? I can't keep doing this. Um, so I noticed um, actually with a few of our December scopers, kind of the same thing. It was a bit overwhelming, you know, and to keep up with that daily scoping or, you know, I'm training for half marathon um, the first week of February. And I trained for it last year. Everything was fine, but I wasn't doing as many things, extracurricular things as I was this year. And I really struggled. I struggled a lot um, to get those runs in and then the guilt because I wasn't doing it. And I'm going to do a couple more. Um, so you know how that is? Like when you just like burn yourself out and that's what I did. So my lesson for 2015 is keep things, you know, controllable. Do the things that you love, but do you know, a limited number of them. Ah, thank you so much for the hearts. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're almost finishing up with these. We're kind of running out of room on our, oops, sorry, I keep getting you. <laughs> we're making a mess. That's what you do in the kitchen. You make a mess. All right, so these are going to go into the oven for 15 minutes, all right? So we're going to, after that, we're going to make our red hot sauce. And we're actually going to drizzle that over these guys. So I think we're good. Do you want to just do a couple mm -hmm. more? I can do at least one more. Okay. I'll do one more. And there we go. This looks so good. It does, huh? Okay. So we're going to drop those in. I'm going to move your stool a little bit here. All right. Cool. Okay. So I have my oven on um, 450. Oh, I just missed it. I missed your comment. I'm so sorry. Um, can you send it again? I would love that. Okay, we're going to pop these in for 15 minutes, and while we do that, I'm going to have Tanner bring the camera around, and we're going to work on the sauce. Okay, so I need you to just bring it on over here. Thank you, thank you. I've got my pan over here. Remind me of the ingredients again. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to have Tanner put this in front of the camera. So that you can see it, see if you can get a really good shot of that. So you can screenshot it. Also, all of my recipes save to catch.me slash lease on life. It's L-E-I-S-O-N-L-I-F-E. And you can also find my recipes at leaseonlife.com. And I'll get this one posted over there probably later this afternoon. Okay? Alright, so that should be good. Okay, so now. We're heating up a pan, and we're going to make the red hot sauce. And I've got my stove on, and I'm going to cook up some onions. And I'm doing this just because um, I always <laughs> add more veggies. The whole concept of this whole um, broadcast is that we're going to just layer, layer, layer veggies. So even though we're doing a dish that's all cauliflower, I'm going to add some onions. I'm going to add some parsley to my sauce so that we're just upping the veggie game, okay? Um, so we're going to get these cooking. I've got them on high. I'm going to grab another utensil. All right. Okay, well, we've got a couple people hanging in there. I know it's a busy Sunday. I get it. And you guys can always, always check the replays. So to all my replayers, hello. Hello, hello. And um, we're going to get cooking here. I'm going to add in some butter. So how many tablespoons of butter was that, Tanner? Uh, this, uh, three. Three tablespoons of butter. Okay. I know. That's the killer right there. But I, I'm telling you. When you want to make this red hot sauce, the butter really is key. Um, if you're not a big butter person, you can definitely leave this out. I just really feel like it adds um, a layer, a layer of yummy goodness. Hey, Grandma Dana, how you doing? Well, you're not in the camera. You should come around and what you could do is be over here. Look who's here, Grandma. I got me a helper. Oh, we got another person. Woohoo! Oh, she was on earlier. Oh, okay. Did she get kicked? Maybe she got kicked off. Dishwasher required. That is so cute. I have a dishwasher. His name's Sean. <laughs> Sorry, that's my husband. <laughs> I'm actually super, super lucky. You got booted out? Okay, so maybe we're having some, some issues. 
little bit of issues. Shall we do a recap of what we're making? Yes, let's do a recap of what we're making. Hey, it says, I haven't seen you in a while. Were you on earlier and you got booted too? I didn't see everybody coming on earlier, but it's really good to see you. All right. What are we making? Okay, so we're making these buffalo cauliflower bites, which is like a cauliflower dipped in this red hot sauce batter. And I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> really, that's about as far as I'm getting. We're going to have to work on his presentation. <laughs> Totally my fault. I was trying to take a screenshot of the recipe. Oh, okay. Uh, do you need me to put it back up again? If you do, just let me know and we can do it again. We can have Tanner do it again. I have done that so many times and like got kicked off and been like, no! <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and do it again? That's fine. Do you have background music? Mm. All right, give everybody a chance to get that, like I um, said. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, they can get it on catch. Right, so you can get it on catch, catch.me slash lease on life. That's L-E-I-S-O-N-L-I-F-E. Um, and like I said, I'll also get that over onto my website. I got to tell you, my website is definitely a work in progress, and it really does go um, along with all the crazy things that I tried to get done in 2015. So I started scoping. When did we start scoping? Uh, I want to say March. No, they started in March, so I think it was like, oh, maybe May. Maybe right around then. Anyways, um, we started scoping. He and I started scoping together then. And then, um, is that your son? You're always talking about, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my little boy. That's a little. Yeah, that's 13 and like 5'11". Yeah. Yeah, ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Not always. Um, he um, kind of left me high and dry for a while there. Wow. <laughs> You would never tell me when you were scoping. Um, well, sad. No, I have so much fun scoping with him. It's really awesome. And I love getting him in the kitchen. Having your kids in the kitchen is hugely important. You know, I always tell him, it's like, you know, when he goes off to college and he's able to cook for himself and make smart choices, you know, and not be going to the fast food, this is key. This is super, super important. All right, so we're adding in some Frank's Red Hot... Um, can you get the recipe? I forgot how much I'm supposed to put in. You know, sometimes in the mornings, um, she does scopes before I'm even awake. <laughs> uh, that happens. But, you know, those, that's a teen. That right. happens. For the sauce, it's a um, quarter cup. Okay. My butter's getting a little well done. All right. I'm taking it off the heat just because it got, it started to get a little brown. So I don't want to do that. And now, woo! You guys hear Look that? Look at that goodness. I'm just going to let you guys see that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So we're making the um, buffalo sauce to go on top of our cauliflower. So recap for you guys. We've got our cauliflower. We dipped it into a batter. Um, and it is now cooking in the oven for about 15 minutes. It's probably been about 10 so far. So we've got about five more minutes to go. Um, so thanks for hanging with us. Um, but one of the things I was going to say is that um, as part of my January sco scopers and, you know, things in 2015 that maybe I would have done a little differently. Oh, I think Grandma Dan got booted. Did Grandma get booted? She did. We're having some issues with the uh, scopers uh, today. Anyway, so one of the things is I, oh, thanks for the heart love. Um, started, we started this scope veggie centric and I wanted to start a website so that I could put all my recipes there and I did it all by myself and it's a lot of work. <laughs> so it was just one other thing that I was trying to do, um, along with my half marathon training, along with joining my son, we're in beauty and the beast and, your job. and oh yeah, there's that job part where I'm a paralegal. Um, thanks for the hearts guys. Um, so I may have just, you know, put a little more on my plate, not to mention like social media, you know, just getting on Periscope, you also then have to be on Twitter and you need to be, you know, on Instagram, you need to be promoting yourself and promoting your dishes or whatever it is that you're doing. And it's a lot, it's a lot to learn.
learn. So I know a lot of you, especially my January scopers, you guys all know this. Um, so it was a lot to take on. It was, but a very good year. Like I feel like I accomplished a lot. I learned so much about myself. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna add to this is just some fresh parsley. I just want a fresh ingredient. Also, you know how white cauliflower is? I want to add some color. A website, a blog is a lot of work. I mean, it's it's nuts, and I knew nothing. I knew nothing when I started. I did it all myself. I'm not perfectly happy with it, but I know that it's like a work in progress, and hey, I accomplished a lot, you know? Um, but I just wanted somewhere where I could put my recipes. I just love, I love, love, love to cook, and I love giving people good vegetable dishes because I just think maybe... In the old days, or I don't even want to say old days, like my poor mom, I give her such a hard time. But the veggies were so overcooked, you know, when I was growing up. And to learn how to cook vegetables to the point where a kid, you know, teenager is like, ooh, I want to try that. You know, that's a pretty good accomplishment. So let me take a look at our cauliflower bites. Let's see how we're doing here. Watch out, baby. Oh, and, you know, some of the stuff she makes, I'm just like so shocked by it. So creative. I would never have thought of making a buffalo sauce for cauliflower. All right, we're going to go a couple more minutes. It's it's crispy, but not quite there. So um, I'm just going to go a couple more minutes. I know. I love that he tries things. I love that he gets excited about my food. Um, <laughs> How many kids do you know that get excited about cauliflower? <laughs> it's like, oh, what are we scoping about today? What did you make today? And not always, you know, not everything's a hit. It's not always a hit, but that's all right. I've got him to open his mind to try different things, and that's huge. And if I can help him in the future, like I said, like when he goes off to college and has his own life, that if he knows how to cook and cook healthy, healthy dishes, he'll make smarter choices, right? So that's where I'm at. So tell me, Tanner, um, what was the question on the scopers? It's biggest lesson in 2015. What is your biggest lesson in 2015? Well, my sarcastic answer would be that. I'm now. sorry, it's Ed's. I know it's have, we're having a tough time today. I wonder if a lot of people are on. I was going to say um, my sarcastic answer would be that that one math lesson that I had in math class, but. Um, <laughs> only the only one lesson? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that was the biggest one. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to get a glass of water. Look at everybody's laughing. I love it. Thanks, man. Oh, and, no, you double tapped it. Oh, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, see, I'm still challenged. I'm still challenged. <laughs> All right, I had to get a glass of water. We have been fighting a cold actually last week, and I was like, I got that lovely flu that's going around. Um, so I'm starting to lose my voice already. So I'm going to let the kid tell you about his. Uh, what would? What is your goal for 2016? My goal for 2016? Oh, yeah. I wanted to get on a consistent... Um, workout schedule like nice. not not um not just like do oh no nah, i can't i can't do three days the three days this week i want to be able to do i want to work out three days every week nice i love that and then so how would you plan to make that happen um well if i can't do it on my normal schedule i could always try and do it on the weekends right Definitely. And you know, I mean, your dad and I would always work out with you. So that's always an option. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull out the cauliflower bites. So we've let them cook for 15 minutes. I'm going to show you guys those. Oh. Yummy goodness. Now oh. we're going to um, cover them in the sauce. Oh, yum. <laughs> so I'm going to, let me see if you guys can see this. Watch out, baby, because this is hot is we're just going to kind of drizzle the sauce across the top of them. We could use the brush. We could. We I'm just having brush. fun making a mess. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, then. That's fine. All right. Let me try and... Uh, you want to try and brush one? Let's try and brush. Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way. I got a brush. Okay, watch out. Everything's hot, okay? Food brush. Yeah, see, it didn't go on as well, I don't think. No, it doesn't go on as well, but you can, it's more accurate, I guess. <laughs> okay, right, I'm yeah. pouring. That, that's not I'm good. pouring. We got a scope going on here. We got to get moving. Yeah, I'm going to go throw this in the sink. Okay. 
All right, so you guys, these are gonna go back in the oven just to get those flavors on top of there. Okay, get all that yummy goodness in there. And here we go. So those go in for five minutes. We're just gonna do five more minutes of that. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. This is kind of one of our longer scopes, but I'm really excited about this sauce um, going on top of these cauliflowers. And it just makes me happy because I know, like I said, there are so many, you know, football games. What temp? I'm at 450. So I think you really want to get that crunch on the outside of those cauliflower, but still have them soft on the inside. Um, but yeah, like I was saying that there's so many like football games and stuff that, you know, coming up and you're going to be going to parties and things like that, that this is a great dish that you can bring and just make a little bit of a smarter choice, right? Than, you know, a plate full of buffalo wings. But, um, so we're just learning. Like my thing is I'm not, I'm not perfect at getting veggies, you know, in me every day, but I want to help everyday people. Is there a specific sauce you need? Yes, so it says I used um, Frank's Red Hot and my label fell off, but it's Frank's Red Hot. I really do believe. Have you tried using Frozen? Probably not. Ah, I missed it. It's, she said um, she had some in her freezer. Oh, okay. I haven't done a Frozen. I usually do fresh, and you want to make it tonight. I would give it a try. I would totally give it a try. Get them out of the freezer. You may need to, like, um, let them air you know, and, and pat them dry because you want to get rid of any moisture that might be in them. And I also wonder if you might need to bake them a little bit longer so that they can get rid of that because you kind of want a crispness to the cauliflower. Oh, no, I got she got kicked out. I think it's a she. Are you a she? <laughs> Periscope's so crazy, like you can never tell it. So, But I would love for you to try this. This would be so exciting. So yeah, I can totally catch this over at catch.me. I would try it. I would try it with the frozen ones. I think you can pull that off. Um, and just kind of maybe have to adjust a little bit, maybe cook it in the oven a little bit longer, just to release some of the moisture that you're going to get from be it being frozen. But yeah, that would be awesome, right? I know, this is super exciting. Um, okay, I'm going to, let me move this out of oh, my way. I That's what you were thinking? Awesome. Yeah, you just want to make sure that they're crisp, I think, you know, so that's just the trick. With anything frozen, you may just have to either cook them a little bit longer or, like, put them out on the counter and pat them a little bit, like, with some paper towel kind of thing. Yes. See how that goes. Look at me getting hard. Yay, you guys. Thanks so much. I missed you guys so much. <laughs> it was a rough December, I got to tell you. It was, it was. All right. I think we are good. I'm going to... Pull these guys out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, can you see that? Can you oh. hear it? It is sizzling goodness. Okay, so you go ahead, Tanner. Go ahead and talk to everybody. I'm gonna get you a plate. You're now in charge. Look, he just stares at the camera. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this looks amazing. No, I'm worried. Um, uh, is the cauliflower gonna be like glued to the to the paper? It's, that's why we put down parchment paper. Um, and I think we forgot to tell everybody that. So we did. We put down parchment paper. Oh, they do look good. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna get you yummy. Yeah, super, super excited about this. Oh, and uh, Which thanks. one looks good? Okay, oh, and your ranch dressing. So, of course, you can serve it with ranch. This one. You want that one? Let's get that one. All right, there's that guy. It's a little oh, side of ranch. Ranch dressing. And I'm going to get you a fork and a knife. What do I need that for? Oh, wow. Because <laughs> you're, you're on Periscope and you should pretend you have manners. All right. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to lie. That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, these smell <coughs> amazing. Okay, so where are you going? Because I'll bring the camera to you. I'll, I'll just sit down. You want to sit at the table? Sure. That's overflowing with Christmas stuff. All right, can they see you? Can we right, see you? Well, can you guys see him? Okay, hold on. I'm going to stand down. There we go. How's that? 
No, not quite. Aha. This okay. Is the and this is the thing of bopper. The thing of bopper. I still don't know what to call it. The cauliflower bite. Cauliflower right. bite. He's a little steamy. So a little bit of ranch. Yeah. And it's hot, boo. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah? Mmm. It actually like tastes like like a buffalo wing. Like Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well it's amazing everybody. I made the kid happy. Wait, how do I have... You want you want it all? You want Oh you lost him! <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, wow. Well, what do we got? His reaction's so funny. I love parchment paper, but I heard angels sing the day I discovered nonstick. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I did the parchment paper just because um, I just was worried about with the buffalo sauce and stuff. It... Okay, bye-bye. All right, thanks for coming, it says. Have a great, great day. I'll see you next Wednesday. So I'll be back on, you guys. We're going to get back on our regular scheduled programming. I'll be back on Wednesday night uh, for another veggie-centric. And I usually do, like, a non-cook something on that night just because I come home from work. And then Friday nights, we're going to do our veggie tales where we make veggie-infused cocktails and get back to our Sundays at 11. Thank you, guys. I'll bet finishing them under the boiler would be great, too. I think you're right. I actually feel like they could be crispier, to be honest. Um, so I think definitely, like, in maybe that last five minutes after you put the sauce on, stick them under the broiler. I think that's a brilliant idea, and I'm, I'm going to take that idea and run with it. Um, all right, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> So thank you guys so, so much for hanging with me. I know this was a long scope. I love the heart love. I hope you try out this recipe. I really, really do. Um, can't wait to see how it turns out. So check back next uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday, I guess, um, and let me know how it turned out, okay? All right, so good luck. Hey, everybody, have a great Sunday, and thanks for joining me and Tanner on Veggie Centric. Check us out at leaseonlife.com and also on catch.me at least on life. Bye everybody.